okay guys this vlog has a twist because it has a lot of music playing in the background and if i let like you listen to the music i will get an infringement for that so guys it is going to be talk 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 from beginning to the end so if you don't want to proceed feel free to stop right here and right now let's continue the gist so techno and yaya were at club vanity over the weekend where they performed and of course would i say launched their latest duet or rather feature yeah yaya and techno i mean since the triple mg split we haven't seen them on the track so it felt really good i was so excited when ubi shared that they were working on something together i was like oh yeah okay guys see there is this thing nigerian bloggers do that i really do not like i mean i recall when my friend told me that i should that she my friend thought i could write so well and uh, because she used to read my post on facebook and she was like why don't you come to youtube i feel like you make more money there at the time facebook wasn't monetized in nigeria people only got monetized by you know engaging someone abroad and my the facebook i operate is my personal facebook i'm not willing to share it with anybody like share my assets with like my, my my logins with anybody so i was like i bet you uh, youtube is full of like fake they, they tell a lot of you know fake news fake stories so i wasn't interested and she was like no you can be different you can do something differently that's why you see that i don't like using wrong captions or maybe saying something else like i don't know regardless i don't do that because these are real human beings these people are human beings they have family members their family members get to see some of these things like even if i want to report like an exclusive not in such a crude manner so you know recently techno there was this gist that techno you know was involved in an incident that made him to slump in south africa and i don't know if you can remember that a couple of years ago techno was diagnosed with i think he had like an ailment or something that left him uh, his it affected his vocal cord or something for a long time he wasn't singing so you can imagine my shock when i heard he faint, allegedly fainted in south africa guys i was like to be very honest i actually believed it i thought it was true because they even showed a picture of someone on the floor and i was like oh my god that's like techno thankfully he came out to debunk it in fact i think before then someone had tweeted i can't remember who talking about how techno wasn't in south africa at the time or something but then it left me wondering like you guys just woke up from sleep and decided to forge this are you aware that this guy has family members his mom could be alive his aged father imagine and you know how parents and our people will just follow these things on whatsapp and they'll be like oh my god what's going on with my son so we just need to be kinder like i said as much as we are all looking for money but while looking for money you don't need to like defame people in the process it is completely unfair to these artists i feel like no they deserve better the worst is facebook guys these days like someone can a blogger can just stay and write like something that when you see you'll be like ah, ah. initially like for the longest time I, I i used to like take it with a pinch of salt and say oh maybe they did an interview but when i now saw they attributed something to choma david choma and uh, choma said she choma said why she stays with the video is blah 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 ah. When I said, I was like, no, 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 this is completely wrong. This one no go work. No, 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 you guys can't say that. Choma, Choma has never done any interview, and I don't see her as someone who will just stay and start, you know, doing interviews, talking, all of that. So I was like, no, this is not even going to. I don't believe. I didn't believe it. So I kind of waved it off. I just like I was like, no, this is not it. I just waved it off but imagine okay then i now saw one again talking about how tiwa said she thought whiskey was going to marry her that time they were dating but whiskey decided not to marry her and i was like my goodness what on earth is going on like what is this about i did not find it funny at all like it got me really upset i was like no 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 this is a lot this is a lot and i think the maybe they really need to do this um just like on twitter if you've 
like write such fake story elon musk did it in such a way that what you need to do is just like to put community notes like you put a footnote saying this is a lie or something like if a number of people appeal for that information saying it's fake news it will come up and say oh so 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 news is fake and that way you lose monetization you won't get shishi from it yes that's how that's how effective that is so i think they need to do something like that on facebook because this rumor mongers are becoming worse by the day anyways guys enough of all this talk sabek i hope you're enjoying this vlog so far like i said it's different it's just some of your stars partying in the club nothing much the music is pretty much so there's really no point letting you you know get bogged with that and all of that so guys pretty much i think um moving on there's really nothing else the rest of this vlog will be mute probably till the end i have a bonus clip at the end so you can watch to the end if you feel like not be a fan of Bonner boy but i am a huge fan of how he loves his family so much yes he is such a caring brother mm -hmm. yeah i love that about him 